And this was a big upside surprise, a big, big, big upside surprise. Avis Budget is what I'm talking about, the car rental company, uh, coming out with earnings per share of $9.99. Now, just let's sit on this for a minute. $9.99, the estimate was $3.26. That's the cost of bleach over Clorox. Nine ninety-nine <laughs> versus three twenty-six. dollars Something is very strange here. And analysts are, you know, obviously it's a big upside surprise. It's helping the shares. But there's a lot of uh, questions this morning about what happened here. How did they have such a big number? Now, the uh, CEO saying in a statement, despite the impact of Omicron in the first uh, half of the quarter, our team was able to quickly pivot to manage the increasing demand in the back half of the quarter. Um, diligent fleet management, continued cost optimization. But still, we got a lot of analysts this morning that are saying, what happened here? Right. It can't just all be weekend warriors. And of right. course, as we're thinking about the return of corporate travel, no, not so many of those corporate travelers perhaps are looking to the vehicle option specifically at the end. But if they are, they are competing at a higher cost now than pre-pandemic for, and against some of the leisure travelers out there. Ended the quarter with revenue 77 percent above that first quarter of 2021 at $2.4 billion. And I think for here, Avis budget, what we've seen from Hertz as well, it's really going to look across some of the inventory that they do have and that fleet management, which they also talked about in this quarter. Right on. And all these quarters were telegraphed. You look at the market action. We've been talking about the return to travel. Hilton, pretty good. I know it's not getting a lot of love this morning here, but good quarter from them. Marriott stock has been on the rise the past month. Past month. We talked to Hertz uh, new CEO Stephen Schur a couple weeks ago. He said demand was looking strong. And uh, realistically, when you see a Hertz putting Tom Brady in a commercial, you don't do that if you're not making a lot of money and have a strong outlook for the back half. And just one quick thing here. Adam Jonas over at Morgan Stanley. Of the show. Closely watched uh, autos the analyst. He said in a note, the extraordinary and unsustainable strength of the first quarter plus announced buybacks, the company also announced buybacks, provide an excellent opportunity for investors to return their rental car stock to the company and wait for a better time to get in again, which I thought was interesting. They're doing buybacks fine. Buy back my shares, Avis. I'll get in another time. That's what Adam Jonas is saying.